Hello and welcome to my channel out on a wonder. Today's video is going to be about Morph's 2022 North Tyneside Adventure. This was an art event organised by North Tyneside Council, where 20 Morph sculptures were placed around the various North Tyneside town centres. If you could please state the end credits, I'll give you my thoughts on the event and how I bumped into one of my favourite YouTubers while out filming. So without any delay, let's get started. The first three morphs were sighted in North Shales Town Centre. Morph number one, Green Fingers. This morph was located inside the Beacon Centre North Shales and was created by artist Laura Kate, who described it as an ode to gardening enthusiasts. Morph number two, The Starry Night. This was located at the Bedford Street entrance of the Beacon Centre. Created by the artist Glenn Brooks, who was inspired by the painting by Vincent van Gogh, or Vincent van Gogh, if you're Dutch. Morph number three, Timeless. This was located on the corner of the Biggin Centre at the junction of Savile Street and Bedford Street. Created by artist Roy Meats, who wanted his design to show how Morph is timeless. Morph number four, Meandering Morph. This was located on Bell Street in the North Shales Fish Key. Created by artist R.P. Roberts, who wanted to create a design showing a meandering path. Morph number five, Mr. Create. This was located on the Royal Keys in North Shields. Created by artist Jenny Leonard, who is inspired by art painting materials. Morph number six, that's a handyman. This was sighted at the Killingworth Shopping Centre. This was created by artist Lai Mai Lee Miao, who thinks of Morph as a mischievous character who was always getting covered in paint. Morph number seven, Morpheus. This was sited on Station Road, Forest Hall. Created by artist Jody Silverman, who took inspiration from the Greek god Morpheus. Morph number eight, Morph and Friends. This was located in the Aldi Car Park, Walls End. Created by artist Jessica Perrin, who was inspired by the wonderful world of Ardman Animations. Morph number nine, Metamorphosis. One of two morphs that were located in Walls End Forum. Created by artist Donna Newman, who wanted to depict the life cycle of the butterfly. Morph number 10, 
Morph number 10, Polymorphism. This is the second morph that was cited in Walls End Forum, created by artist Sue Guthrie, who described her morph as a play on words. Half parrot, half morph. Morph number 11, Morph in the Jungle. This morph was sighted on Walls End High Street, just outside the Lloyds Bank. Created by artist Amanda Quellen, who wanted to paint a colourful jungle. Morph number 12, Astromorph. This morph was sighted in the Wall's End as the car park, near to the Roman Villa Segaduna. Created by artist Megan Heather Smith Evans, who thinks that space explorers go above and beyond. Morph number 13, Tiger Morph. This morph was sighted just outside Spanish City in Whitley Bay. Created by artist Sandra Russell, who was inspired to paint a morph wearing a tiger onesie. Morph number 14, Mighty Morph. This morph was located on Parkview, Whitley Bay. Created by artist Steve Johnson, who was inspired by how amazing it would be if Morph turned into Mighty Morph. Morph number 15, Wildermorph. This morph was sighted on Norham Road, Whitley Bay. Created by artist Gina Gelder, who loves exploring our native wildlife in her work. Morph number 16, Flora. This morph was sighted in Parkview Shopping Centre, Whitley Bay. Created by artist Lisa Kirkbride, who has a passion for creating bold patterns. Morph number 17, Tessellate. Sighted on Whitley Road, Whitley Bay. Created by artist Jim Edwards, who wanted to use simple, repetitive triangles. Morph number 18, Fisher Hoy. This morph was located on Station Road, Whitley Bay. Created by artist Ali Ellie, who is inspired by the people whose lives are spent out at sea. Morph number 19, a taste of what's to come. This morph was sighted on Tynemouth Priory, near the Pier Road. Created by artist Emily Ward, 
who is inspired by the beautiful Northeast. Morph number 20, Morph Court. This morph was sighted on Beverly Terrace, Colour Courts. Created by artist Glenn Brooks, who went with a play on the words Morse Court. So in summary, I'd like to say that the Morph Art Trail was a great idea. The sculptures were absolutely stunning, with a surprising amount of detail to them. And in the areas that families could easily access, they were obviously very popular. But this is where I think the trail falls down. The morphs were placed in town centres, some of which were far too far apart, and these required a car journey to get between each grouping. If the morphs had been strung out from St Mary's Lighthouse, running down the coast, through Whitley Bay, Colour Courts and Tynemouth, ending in the North Shales Fish Key, then I think the trail would have been far more successful. But as it was, it was a great idea that was just badly executed. I would also like to give a special shout out to one of my favourite YouTubers, John from Mondo Chelevec Movies, who I bumped into while filming number one in the list, Green Fingers. John is a great bloke, and if you're into your movie collecting, then you should check out his channel. I'll put links to his channel down below. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and please don't forget to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.